supercomputers are changing the way we face our biggest challenges, disaster response, mass agriculture, and sustainable energy. But can a supercomputer cure cancer? Taking on a disease this elusive and complex may seem impossible, but a dedicated team of research scientists are using high-performance computing to rise to the challenge. In the past, treatment for cancer was established by screening physical libraries of small molecules. As a consequence, you got a rather small uh, number of good compounds that could be active against cancers. To create cancer meds, scientists used to analyze about 2,000 human enzymes. More recently, they've shifted their focus to better, more targeted treatments by analyzing unique protein interactions, of which there are about 500,000. And finding just the right protein interactions at a given time is dependent on trillions of calculations. As the complexity of our methods increased so much, we definitely needed the help of supercomputers. Enter Canon, a Lenovo-powered supercomputer tailor-made for scientific research in geophysics, astrophysics, and medicine. Each of Canon's 670 ThinkSystem servers, powered by third-gen Intel Xeon scalable processors, offer an incredible density of processing power. But super-dense processing power means a lot of heat, too much for a conventional air cooling system. With the Lenovo Neptune water cooling system, Canon is able to deliver four times its initial compute power at only one and a half times the energy cost, making university-level research supercomputing dramatically more affordable and accessible. That empowered us to think differently about how to tackle research problems of previously unimaginable scale. My name is Christoph Gorgula. I'm using supercomputers to find new cures for diseases. Virtual Flow is a computational drug discovery platform based on ultra-large virtual screenings. To synthesize these billions of molecules with old-fashioned chemistry, it's really impossible because it would take a very large team of chemists thousands of years. The computer allows us to speed up the process so that we can get better drug candidates in the end. At a comprehensive research institution, we need to think about the strategic direction for research computing. I came from the background of computational chemistry, and that's what led me to thinking about computing and what it does for research. When you can hand 32,000 Intel cores to an individual researcher, that's a lot of processing power. And so with the latest generation of Canon, Christoph was able to do something he'd never been able to do before. So what does this actually mean for the future of drug discovery? Supercomputers like Canon are helping us to tackle some of humanity's biggest problems. Supercomputers can shorten the initial part of drug discovery very, very rapidly. It can extend the lifespan of cancer patients. It can eliminate some negative side effects of doing long clinical trials. My hope for all of this research and new technology is that it will reduce suffering and cure as many diseases as possible in a short amount of time.